Hello, my name is Quadli and welcome to another Warframe guide. Ayatan stars and sculptures are an extremely rare commodity, but they are also extremely important as well for starters and also veterans. If you don't know it yet, they are your main sources of endo, the stuff you need to upgrade your mods with. But let's go back to the start and first look for Ayatan stars. There is two kinds of them, cyan and amber. The amber stars are much rarer, with a cyan star three times more likely to drop instead of the amber one. But that isn't really a problem since that's the amount you need. Where can you get them though? Well, everywhere where crates are pretty much. Doing a quick exterminate, destroy some crates on your way and you might find one. Trying to rescue a hostage, he can wait, get your Ayaton stars. When your Ayaton star drops from the crate, it will make a very distinct sound and it will also be marked on your map with a waypoint, so don't look for it if it isn't marked. A bit more complex way to get the stars is from Ash and Quakus on the plains of Eidolon, but it is extremely rare, so don't do it. And for the veteran players, you can get a blueprint to craft amber stars from the Arbitrator's Merchant. But in my opinion, it is not worth the 10 Vitas Essence at all. That's pretty much it about the Ayatan stars, but what can you actually do with them? Well, they are a component used in Ayatan sculptures to get more endo from them. But let's leave that for the end and first look at Ayatan sculptures. Right now we have 7 types of Ayatan sculptures. 6 of them can be found in the game by just playing it, but the last one can only be obtained from sorties. Firstly, for the starters and the low level players. To find Ayatan sculptures you will need quite a lot of luck, with a 10% chance one will spawn in your game. If you are a player that likes to use the minimap, it will be seen as one of these boxes on your minimap. And they are quite hard to find because there is a huge amount of them in the whole map. If you don't see any boxes on your minimap, you will have to equip one of these mods that show you loot. Thieves Wit, Loot Radar or Animal Instinct. But you can also equip all of them at once to have an insane loot radar distance. Nice, but what do you do when you find one? Well, just go to it and press X, that's it. The only thing you have to do next is complete the mission. When you are searching for the sculptures, you will most likely be quite disappointed most of the time, because the maps are very big, with an addition of not knowing the game as well. So the other place to get the sculptures is the Maru's Bazaar. Maru's Bazaar is a relay station in the orbit of Mars. When you get onto it, you will be able to talk to Maru in the central area of the relay. Talk to her and ask her about the Ayaton treasures. With that, you will start a mission with the main goal of obtaining an Ayaton sculpture. A quick heads up, you are only able to do this mission once per 7 days, so to check if you can do it, go to your star shot and then look under alerts. It will be displayed there. Ok now, we go to the second way which requires you to join a syndicate. If you have already joined one, you can easily do it, so the only thing you need to do is to start a syndicate mission and search for your sculptures the same way as you normally would. This way is extremely good for multiplayer because people are most likely going to search for the medallions for the syndicate and may stumble upon a Nyaton sculpture. This is the best place for multiplayer, but how about single player? Well. If you want to play solo, play Mariana Exterminate on Earth. The mission is extremely short and also has very small tile sets, so it is very easy to find one, but the sculptures are pretty much the only thing of value that you will get there, sadly. The other way is obviously sorties, but there is nothing to dwell on for this one, just complete it and you may get an IFM. And the final, the hardest way is to do the arbitrations, the best and the most reliable source of Ayatans. They work exactly the same as normal missions, but they're a little bit harder and have one life. With an exception if your squadmates aren't assholes. You will be able to get the sculptures after the each cycle, so prepare for massive amounts of endo. If you want to redeem the sculptures, you can go to Maru's Bazaar and trade them there, but be sure to first fill them with the Ayaton stars. Just go to your modding table in your orbiter and click on the Ayaton treasures on the right. You will see all the sculptures you have, but they are all empty if you don't have any stars next to their name. To fill it up, you just need to click on the sculptures you want to fill and click the auto install button. And that is it. You can also install every star by itself if you want to, but... That is pretty much it. Somewhere, at least late game, you will have loads of Ayaton stars and not many sculptures. This happened to me, and look at this. Ok guys, if you have any questions, post them down in the comments. I read every single one of them, so yeah, thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Bye guys!